Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Ben-Noon, and you are watching Israeli News Live. In Israel this afternoon, the military had to kill a firebomb throwing uh, person. Actually, there were two people throwing firebombs at automobiles as they were passing by. The Israeli uh, military paratroopers actually killed one of them, wounding the other one. The other one was later captured. Uh, this is being reported on Israel National News. Uh, the, the head of the Sumerian Regional Council, Gershon uh, Misika, said Saturday evening, I wish to congratulate the soldiers who reacted properly vis-a-vis -vis the terrorists this evening. Unfortunately, we are already know that the terrible results uh, the rock and firebomb terror can have. Therefore, we must strengthen our soldiers who face the enemy daily. And we saw this evening, uh, do not hesitate to react. It is important that every terrorist know that once he prepares to throw a rock or firebomb at an IDF force or Israeli citizen, he is fair game. Now you have to understand, because it may seem like uh, children in America throwing rocks at a car like it's no big deal. In Israel, the last firebomb attack in this area here caused an 11-year-old girl to be burned over 90% uh, of her body. She is in, uh, still in very serious condition in the hospital months later, trying to recover from her injuries. Her body badly disfigured, could have easily died. It took some time to save her life, from to keep her from dying. Uh, as well as when we talk about rocks, we're not talking about little baseball-sized rocks. We're talking about huge stones that are thrown into car windshields that shatter the entire windshield, causing the driver with families, children's babies, and everything else to go crashing uh, the, the vehicle in most cases. So it is a very deadly situation that this causes, and, and, and is intent to kill, harm, and maim Israeli citizens, uh, mainly targeted of Israeli citizens, not as much as the Israeli military. So therefore, as usual, the Palestinian terrorists are very focused on citizens. They're not much into a military campaign, but a citizen campaign. Um, another interesting news is Egypt uh, has the, the government of Egypt has officially labeled Hamas a terrorist group. Now that's kind of shocking. Another Arabic nation naming Hamas a terrorist group, but they said that they have continually had trouble dealing with them, and today they officially on Al Jazeera, they uh, claim that uh, Hamas is a terrorist organization. Uh, very interesting that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also the Islamic State group uh, beheaded a, the Japanese journalists. It's a very sad situation today. They, uh, they did not get their demands met that they were hoping for. They wanted the Japanese government to give a very large cash uh, settlement for his release. And they, uh, the Islamic State terror group released the video Saturday purporting showing his beheading. He was dressed in an orange jumpsuit just like before. Uh, it's pretty obvious that that's what it is. I know a lot of people say alleged because you can't say for sure as far as, uh, by, uh, as, 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 far as identifying him uh, personally, maybe DNA or whatever the case is. But in, 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 it, in it, Gatto is seen kneeling dressed in his orange outfit and as, as masked man Standing beside him with a knife blames the Japanese government for his slaughter. As uh, in most previous ISIS execution videos, it ends with still photo of the body with the head resting on its back. The executioner appears to be the man known as Jihad John, speaking with a southern English accent, addressing the Japanese government. You, this is what he says, quote, you, like your foolish allies and satanic coalition, have yet to understand that we, by Allah's grace, are an Islamic caliphate with authority and power and entire army thirsty for your blood, he said. He also went on to warn the, uh, the prime minister of uh, Shinzo Abe, of Japan that they will look for any Japanese people whatsoever that they can find and they will also suffer the same fate uh, as Gatto did here in this beheading as well. Um, very sad and our heartfelt prayers go out to uh, his family as well that have lost uh, their loved one. He is a journalist and, uh, and sad that he was murdered as a journalist as well. Uh, Pope Francis has been nominated to, for the Nobel Peace Prize for 2015. It's kind of interesting that this came out today. Uh, Calgary AB is, uh, it was a, it was on the, uh, on an award there, uh, article says award the 2015 Nobel Peace Prize to Pope Francis for brokering the landmark deal between the United States and Cuba. Now we had reported, those that follow, uh, here for some time, we reported earlier, uh, oh gosh, I don't know, months ago that, 
I believe that he would get the nomination for the Nobel Peace Prize, and I believe he'll actually win it. If he doesn't win it, it probably be an inside thing that he doesn't want that particular, uh, that particular, um, what would you call it, uh, uh, notoriety perhaps, maybe he wants someone else to win it, but nonetheless, I believe that he would get it because he clearly is, uh, Daniel chapter 11, that prince that shall come, the one that comes in with flatteries, the one that comes in saying peace, peace, when there is no peace. I truly believe that that may be a, 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 another good sign that he is certainly the man that we claim that he is, and that is the Antichrist that is mentioned in Revelation. And by the way, in the book of Matthew, uh, Matthew, in, in the Hebrew Gospel of Matthew, uh, Matthew uses the word Antichrist as well when speaking about Daniel in the vision there, quoting Jesus. He calls it the Antichristo. And, uh, and, and if you remember from yesterday's news there, I mentioned to you that the very word Vinker, because it is very well publicized even amongst the news, the media, uh, their, their own website, the Catholic website, uh, that he is the vicar of Christ. The word vicar is a Latin word, and that Latin word translated in Greek is anti, or anti, anti-Christo, the substitute or the replacement for Christ. Very interesting. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Erev Tov.